Hello everybody, welcome back to Omori. Thanks to someone on the internet, or I was gonna say thanks to someone on the internet stating the obvious. I don't mean that as being mean, I'm being like, <laughs> I'm saying that I didn't want to do it. Uh, uh, reinforce the fact that I do in fact have to grind. Um, sorry if my English is dying. I woke up an hour ago, so I haven't woken up fully. Uh, but yes, you do have to grind. And I was apparently under level for that fight, one, and two, it doesn't help that everybody is at such a weird level rage, especially Kale, because Kale keeps dying. And the reason he keeps dying is because he's under level. <laughs> and that's kind of how it is, but... Where am I? I don't even know where I'm going. Hi. Hello? The gasp! Could it be? Oh, finally. Some company. yo i have been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity, at last, I have an audience. <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Why, I'm the great up-and-coming artist, Rococo. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. Excuse us. Please listen, I'm so lonely. <clears throat> right. Now where should I start? The beginning was me, crying in a pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. I still remember all so vividly. Fire, fire, everywhere. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar and a strangled land I soon learned to be called the Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species, the last elf of the entire universe. This is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than the young donut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family, and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she was always, uh, she would always win. If I, uh, if I fought back, well. Anyway, I learned to run. I got quite good at running, but there are only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time, but even though that suffering and I stood firm, because even then, I knew everything had a purpose. Set to this planet to uh, survive for one reason and one reason only. To repopulate my entire species. There's a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I felt deeply in love became engaged and moved, it, uh, moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I'd do anything for her, but I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together. To grow old and raise hundreds of hundreds of children. <laughs> Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever <laughs> made that clear to her. Anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all the good times must come to an end. The sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She we received gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was <laughs> what? Against the notion she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. So, a night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I've been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving off toast and tofu. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes. You are the first baby beings I've ever seen that fateful day. Oh, sorry, that's really um shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do that? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. I'm gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. The last few years, I had a long I think. Had to give it up, um, I dream all of that stuff. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. What are we doing now? And since I 
first started out, I suppose I could give you all a discount. Wait, first ever man, you only turned a thousand clams. I don't have a thousand clams. Well, what do you guys think? A thousand clams is kind of stupid. Man. Please commission me. Wait, we'll think about it. Yes, of course, do take your time. I don't, I don't have, I don't have that many, but I would stay here until then. I do actually, you know what, I have a thousand clams, sure. Sure, I'll take it, I'll take one. Lay Magnificent, please return after some adventuring. After all, greatest takes time. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you! I won't disappoint you! Okay. Well, I did that. That's not why, why I'm here. Going back because... There was something I wanted to look at, and if I end up running into enemies, that's fine. I have to kill them, apparently. That's not good. Everyone's low health, too. Don't know why. I can't fight that. Anyways, you might be wondering why I'm down here, and that's because there was a guy earlier who was like, "Tell me, or come back to me when Sweetheart's gone," and I will tell you something. I don't know what. Soon she will leave and not return. I know this. When I have deemed that she has found her home elsewhere, I will look for a new owner. At that time, return to me, you. And the empty eyes. Your soul is split, but you can only choose one path. It'll be interesting to see what you who will make of this dwelling. Well, she already left. She's gone. Also, there's also, I think there's something here. If I just stand here for a minute, I'll give it a shot and we'll see where it goes. Is something happening? Oh yeah, something is happening. Why did I get flashbanged? What did I stumble upon? Hi! Goodbye? That was weird. Well, anyways, that was also a grand waste of time, except for the little bit of grinding I did, a tiny bit. Anyways, uh, Basil jumped off here. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Yeah, Basil went down there. What's down here? Okay. Spiraling out of control. Okay. <laughs> In Undertale vibes. Sleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blake was the first to nod off, and the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blake's head accidentally drops onto Blake's shoulder. A sudden jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breath. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Who, though? That's a good question. I 
I enjoy this little library of uh, secrets, so to speak. It's kind of interesting. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above, it is none other than blank, holding the open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. That's not a guilty chuckle. <laughs> In what seems like less than a second, Blake disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, uh, through the stain leaving the sloppy wet tracks all across the room. Ace turns red and yells for Blake, but Blake is already long gone. Blake hands Blake some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean this mess up soon, the carpet's going to stain. They'll have to deal with Blake later. I'm assuming that's Kale. I wouldn't put that many blanks there if it wasn't there. If it wasn't there on purpose. I found a book of interest. Read an excerpt. It was a hot summer day, and all Blake could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to Blank and Blank's work. All day, Blank watched Blank lug blank planks of wood back and, from, and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched Blank hammer his hand over, hammer his fingers over and over, and made note that over an hour has passed since Blank had climbed down her ladder. I will just be there more. I'll just be there moral support, thought. He sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends would be asking his help, and he wouldn't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts in some work into it. Blake knows this and agrees, but reluctantly, he, si he, si he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put his fair, his, his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of summer. What, what? I saw that on the right, I think. I found a book of interest reading. Sir. This year, Blake was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, Blake would gaze listlessly through the opening. At the shadow of the trees, the clouds overhead, his mind drifted elsewhere to his own worlds, his own stories, and his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. Blake stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly a hand pl uh, playfully slaps, him <laughs> slaps his back, snapping him out of his <laughs> revere. Blank looks away from the opening. Blake smiles. Kale smiles. I'm assuming it's Kale. He mentions that clo that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Blake smiles. I think this is Amori, because it mentions that he thinks of his own worlds and all that, or our character, whoever our character is. Because one, it does, uh, like, uh, we named our character, one. And two, Amori, from our knowledge, whoever it is, <laughs> if their name is actually Amori or not, it's very imaginative. Like this, they're dreaming up this whole world right now, so it makes sense. I know who Kale is. Kale's the three, the three one that's doing all this Kale things. Measure another day. I just don't know who else is here. Why are there eyes in my bookcase? It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. I might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. Kale and, um... Hero. Uh, Hero, Hero jumps first, and then Kale. And then... Hero again, and then Kale again. The brothers gleefully urge Amori to join them, and after some careful thought, Amori worthy, uh, worthy agrees. 
Mori shuffles up to the statue, looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they could give out at any moment. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling upon his sh shoulder. His eyes fly open to meet with those of a black, sp a black spider. In an instant, Amori loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his, he exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. Amori shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. That would explain his fear of water. Can I not get back there? I want to look at the eyes that are looking back at me. Yeah, that makes sense. You, you see, kind of see everything. I might have to like look back on the footage and look back at all of the, the spiders chilling. Spiders chilling. And see what like the other experts had to say. Sorry, I don't remember exactly what they say, and I don't want to go read them again. You can like pick up on everything, and I like that. L! <laughs> I'm probably losing this game of Pingman. Six keys left. I don't know what that is, but I want to read the excerpt before I do anything. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., the group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Amori looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. Yeah, I guess. He'd be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Oh, okay. Amori grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. Okay. Something opened. What opened? There's a lot of stuff here going on. One, two, there's this hidden passage. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look, I want to look at the hole. Basil. Hmm. Fear. Yeah, I've, I've, I've still decided that that's considered fear in this game. Don't forget, it's... And the toy box! Okay, I gotta remember that, whatever it is. It's a key and it means something. Immediately it means something. Aw. And I missed out on whatever else was in that room. Right? Aww. But I want to know what was in that room. Now I'm not gonna. Now I'm never gonna know. What else was in that room? Was that something I needed to? Well, I, I that whatever it is I found was important. I don't know what that light into the the sky was, but whatever I did, it was important. Remember, toy box key. Or I need to remember that. Put it up your PC. Am I losing or am I winning? I don't know. Welcome to black space. I already... I, that was easy. Okay, what is black space? Do we know what that is? I need to find W-O-M-I-N-S-P. That's what I need to find. And I fill it out. Okay. Let me guess, I have to stab my- I have to stab myself again. Because of course I do! Two days left. I don't know what else is in the library, but I want to know. I like that area. That area was interesting. And also something opened up after I read everything, so I don't know what opened up. This is a lot of questions and not a lot of answers. You have a new message. Hey Fluff, it's Mommy. Are you doing okay? 
You haven't been uh, answering my calls or responding to my voicemail. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think it, uh, even I can finish everything today. Did you end up visiting Kale? If not, it's alright, I understand. Just take things on your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs to see if there's anything you, you, can, you want to keep? Probably just throw away whatever you don't want. There's only two days left before I come and pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. I'll be glad to. Bye, honey. I'm handling things with uh, people because this seems to have happened rather quickly. Ah, uh, do I want to save over top of it? Do I want to go back through that whole thing again? I mean, I want to, but as much as as much as I want to, part of me doesn't because um, that would just be kind of like cheating, I guess. I, I swear to God, there was something like super important in there. I'm gonna do a backflip, but I think we're fine. I'm gonna save here anyways. I'm gonna do a double take. I'm gonna do a double take. Of doing my chores, I will go and answer the doorway, which is probably Kale again. Hello, hello, Fluff, are you there? Open the door. I've already started doing this whole like outside thing. Hi, Fluff. Top of the morning tea. Well, more like noon, actually. Turns out Hero's not coming back until dinner, around dinner time uh, today, so I thought I would drop by a little later. Mama's having my, uh, me buy some stuff from Fairway Plaza before he's co he comes back. I thought it might be funnier, <laughs> or funner if we went together. You wanna come along, Fluff? Of course you do, come on. Let's go! Man, I want to check on Basil. Last time I checked on Basil, Basil was having like, hmm, <laughs> not good. Kill smells. Like happy the year. Dang it! It must have been off. Right in the scooter team. Let's be honest. Do I smell? Uh, not from what I can tell. I hope I'm good. I know it's been a while since you've been over to my place, but I'm gonna be a good time. What? Because the dog. I have to traverse everywhere. Is there anything new at the park? A teddy bear. Who would have thunk it? Perhaps it was a teddy bear. That's Basil. I think that's Basil. Hey, hey, Kale. Hey, Fluff. What's up, Basil? Nice to see you out and about. You feeling better after yesterday, huh? Yeah, yesterday. What, what do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? Uh, that's why you had to go to the bathroom? Ah, alright. Yes, I do feel much better now. Wanna hang out with us today? Fluff's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I did, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Ah, oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay then. See you. <laughs> see you later then, I guess. Bum, ba, bum, ba. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta get Gina stop at Gina's Pizza in the bakery and other marts. Lead the way. I don't want to, but okay. Probably should have gotten the bread first, but we'll come here first. Bomb! This is one. This this is one disgusting, dirty, greasy-looking cheese pizza, just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So much. Money. We're still on uh on to go into our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring fishing pole. Made it myself. Out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. You think it'll work, Charlie? So you're going to our secret hideout spot. 
perfect date. A date spot. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming sounds pretty fun. Well, <laughs> while you're all f uh, fooling around being babies, I'm going to <laughs> be busy skipping rocks. I'll keep looking for the perfect rocks all week. You try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Michael. Like, uh, like any girls would actually want to go to the lake with a ping. I told you to call me. <laughs> a loser. <laughs> Master, you hurt. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about their cop. Wait, I mean, I guess it's... I mean, you're supposed to care because Aubrey's in the bunch. And I'm assuming they're talking about the place that the books were talking about. Or that one book was talking about, but... I need to pick up an order. Let's see. Uh, oh, I know. Would you like pizza? I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll cook at it. <laughs> you know. I don't know if I ever told you, but that's why my brother nicked his nose name for Zero. You'd think it's because of some cool, really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something, but no. He just really likes sandwiches. Okay, here's the hero you please enjoy. You got Kale's pizza order. Let's go. It's not really a pizza order, it's not pizza, but it's from a pizza place. Cool thing. Alright, uh, we're good to go now, folks. I'm ready when you are. Or just to get the bakery and other art. Or they could just do their thing. I'm not even gonna bother them. I don't care enough to do that. Can't run in the grocery store. Let's go to the bakery. I'm gonna place an order. Yeah, I know. I'm looking for the bakery. That's that's the pharmacy, right? It'd be stupid not to know what that is. Yeah, the pharmacy. That's fish. Or that's meat, that's fish. That's seafood. Here's the bakery. <sighs> Welcome to our family bakery. Now I'm here to take a pick up an order. Um, oh yes. Your mother said you'd be coming. So I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I will grab your order. Now this bakery belongs to Miguel's family. I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order, sir. We hope you to see you, see you soon. Please enjoy the big order. Let's go. Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now. Well, I'm ready when you are. I want to just head back and to drop them off and then do whatever you want. I don't want to keep them all day. Baked goods, check. Sandwich, check. Well, that's everything, just in time, too. Looks like the sun is about to set. Let's go back to my house. Here we should be home in a minute. I am on my way. There is a car. I should probably save up here in case there's something that happens. Basil's gone. There's, like, gotta be something I'm missing here, because it can't be, like, already over, right? Like, because this is, like, quote-unquote dinner time. Last time that this happened, we did a bunch of stuff before. We go in. I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about taking taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff. Uh, you know how it goes. But anyways, I thought of a solution for this. So, I think... You should walk in first, that way she'll see you first to get all excited, and most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everybody, got it? Okay, let's go. Aren't I, like, the only, always the plea again? What in the world is this house? Mom, flips here. What took you so long, Kale? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, it must be. 
So good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? What's the stuff you have for, Mom? Hurry, fault. Let's go upstairs. Oh, wait a second, young man. Hi, Mom. I'll see you when dinner's done. Cannot enter any other room but Kale's, I'm guessing. What's your family photos? Kale sure has a lot of relatives. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Ha! <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I won't let really me play it too loud though because she says it's pet for Soldy. The dog. Oh wait. You haven't met Sally yet yet either. <laughs> Guess what's what? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister! I'm gonna probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. There's a girl at the door. So she's here to see you. Uh oh. That's Aubrey. That's Aubrey, I bet. It's kind of a bop, though, chilling here. I bet it's Aubrey. It's undoubtedly Aubrey. No. Hey, Kale. Hey, Flo Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you knew where Kale or Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil. We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. I see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. Be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. This is where things get a little interesting. Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try and find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for mom? Hey, please. Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Okay, make sure you're home by dinner. Alrighty, I know it's a bit short, but that's where I'm gonna leave it off for now. That way I have time to make maybe like one more with the time I have. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, for right now, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I'm doing it. We're on to the section that I like the most. I love the section. Because the, it, it's really where the story hammer is in, you know? Um, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed, like, please let me know some way, I guess. I don't know why I'm doing that part. If you guys suggest it, leave it down in the comment section below. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make. Bye!